Shackles, hangings, segregation, they're an ugly part of our local history. One woman is hoping we can learn from that painful past. Nine News reporter Tony Morona shows us what she's using to show people what happened. Yeah, that's good. 95-year-old Aileen Butler likes what she sees. To think about it now, what, what is happening with the black people, it's, it was wonderful, you know, that we, being friendly, living neighborly. She's glad her past is being preserved. It could have been torn down. Nobody would never known it. Wouldn't know anything about that little school that came from Dry Ridge. Butler attended the Dry Ridge Consolidated Colored School. It was restored last year. I've had a great time learning all the stories. Recently, genealogist Connie Taylor saw its future as a black history museum. I only remember seeing one black person in the whole county when I was growing up. Taylor was digging up an African-American's family tree when it dawned on her. I realized that we had a lot of black history that nobody knew about, and I felt like it was a story that needed to be told. Stories like Earl Thompson's. Grant County only had three legal hangings, and one of them, was, the last one, was Earl Thompson, who was a 17-year-old boy who was accused of rape of a white woman, of course. Thompson's shackles and news of his trial are displayed where Butler went to school. I just think it's wonderful that, that Connie took out the time to do this. I think if we lose that part of our history, we've lost a huge chunk of it. The former segregated school, now a museum, is open to anyone. You ain't always had a home and cars and things, you know? But now you... all of my kids have their own homes and they're doing well. A piece of history displays the past, so the future won't forget. In Crittenden, Tony Moronis, 9 News. And the Grant County Black History Museum will be used as an educational tool for students. The building was restored through a grant from Lowe's. Very interesting.